Good morning to all. This is Mamta Khanna and welcome to this video of English literature. So today I am going to teach the new chapter, chapter number two, taken from the book It Through Happened. Okay, and the name of the chapter is Children at Work. Okay, so before starting, first of all, I would like to ask you a few questions. Okay, so first of all, I am going to ask you question number one. Okay, have you seen some children from the slum, from the slum area? That means children who do not go to work, who live in huts, picking up rags. Okay, have you seen any any of them? That means those who are begging alms or those who are going and picking up some bottles and plastic from the streets. Have you seen? Okay. So, I think the answer is yes, you must have seen. So, how do you think their life would be? Is their life as comfortable like yours? No, their life is not as comfortable as yours or as we have. Okay, they have a very difficult life. Okay, now can you imagine, can you tell me that uh, what would be their life like? What kind of life they would be leading? They would be leading a very difficult life because they would not be having proper money with them. They would not be having proper food with them, proper house with them. Okay, so they lead a very difficult life. Okay, so what kind of work do they do? They also do a very hard and a dirty job. Okay, they used to go to the garbage and they pick up some leftover from there, some bottles or some bags or some plastics or whatever they found useful for them. Fine? So, these people, they work as a rag pickers. Fine? Okay. So, now can you imagine that after picking up all those um, bottles and waste, leftover waste, what is the use of those things? According to you, what it must, what they must be doing? They hand it over to the recycle factory. Okay, where they can recycle some new products out of those waste materials. Clear? Okay, so now let us have a look about the life of those rag pickers. Fine? Now, let's begin. Explanation. Children at Work is a sensible story by Gita Wolf, which focuses on the living of slum children. Slum children mean the children who live in the slum areas. Clear? The story teaches us to be empathetic with these children and help whatever we can. Okay, here the story teaches us that we should be empathetic towards these children. Okay, we should have some feeling, some pity for those children and we should help as much as we can. Clear? This story involves, now we are coming to the main part of the story. This story involves a boy named Velu. Okay? The main character of the play is Velu. Fine? He was a small boy of 11 years. His father was a drunkard. Drunkard means a boozer, a person who always keeps on drinking. Fine? So, Velu's father was a drunkard. He used to beat him and his sister and used to snatch every money they earned. So these people, these children, they had no mother. Okay. So he was living with his younger sister and father. His father was a boozer. He was a drunkard. So the children earned their living by doing small work. Okay. So whatever money they earned, is all snatched away by his father. His father used to come home. He used to beat both the brothers and sister, snatch away all the money, go out and spend it on drinking. Clear? Okay. So, Velu was fed up with, his, with the day-to-day -day abuses and decided to run away from home. Okay. So, one day, Velu was really frustrated by his father's behavior and he made up his mind that he would run away from home because he was really tired with his day-to-day -day abuses. Abuses means uh, the beating up of his father. Okay, the treasures that he got every day from his father. Clear? 
So one day he decided to run away from home. He walked all day in Kannur. Kannur is a district in Tamil Nadu. And later on boarded Kanyakumari Express. And later on he went into Kanyakumari Ex Express. Okay, That means he traveled from his place to the other part of the city through train. Clear? Okay. Kanyakumari Express brought him to Chennai Central Station. Okay. And Kanyakumari Express, with the help of that train, he traveled to Chennai. Okay. And he reached the Chennai Central Station. This is the name of the platform. Clear? Chennai Central Station. Okay. Now see. Now the story begins. Now. So, the boy, he has already decided to run away from his home. Yes or no? So, he ran away from his home one day. Then, he reached Chennai Central Station. Now, see how he reached Chennai Central Station. It was a huge station. Well, you saw people in a rush with their suitcases. Okay. So, now at the platform, Venu has entered. He saw many people rushing here and there with their suitcases. Fine. So presently he is at Kanur. Okay. So he saw that the people, they rushes with their suitcases. Okay. Then a loudspeaker was shouting with announcements. There was a big loudspeaker which was making some announcement. That means the arrival and the departures of the trains. Clear? Some people were watching a big TV screens and some people, they were looking at the big TV screen in order to find out the timing of their arrivals of the train. Clear? Some people were sitting on the platform, whereas some people were simply sitting on the platform. Value was feeling very weak and, he leaked, and his legs were shaking. Since he had come from his home, he had run all the way till the station, till the railway station. He was really very, very tired. And it was due to his tiredness that his legs was shaking. Because also it is possible that he would not have eaten anything whole day long. Clear? He was just simply walking and running. So he was really tired and his legs were shaking. He had come to Chennai. In an unreserved compartment. Okay. Now see. He has boarded the train. Okay. And since he was not having any money. He did not um, buy any ticket. Fine. He did not purchase any ticket. So he has traveled with an unreserved reserved compartment. So that means he entered into an unreserved compartment. Okay. And where did he sit? He sit near the gate. That means near the door of the train. Fine. A group of people played playing cards and shouted throughout the night. Okay. And there were a group of people who were playing cards throughout the night. All the night they played cards and they shouted. Fine. Do you know what is cards? Cards means Tashpati. Fine. So a group of people played uh, playing cards Tashpati and they shouted throughout the night. That means Value was unable to sleep. Value felt miserable in a new place on the bench. Sorry, Value felt miserable in a new place and sat on a bench. And then the train was running, okay? And he was able to skip the TC. The TC could not see him because that particular night, TC did not come for collecting the tickets. So it was his good luck. That he escaped. Otherwise, he would have been caught. Clear? So now, he has reached the central, uh, Chennai Central Station. Okay? And now he is feeling very miserable because he didn't get anything to eat. He didn't get uh, proper bed to sleep. So that he is really worn out. Totally tired. And now, he is sitting on a bench. Clear? After that, when the train stopped at the platform... He got out of the train and he sat on the bench. 
Is it clear to you? Okay. Okay. Now see. Red picker and Jaya. Okay. After he sat on the bench, he found a girl. Okay. And she was a red picker. Fine. Now see. A red picker was a small girl with brown and dirty hair by the name Jaya. Okay. So there was a small girl who was having a brown and a dirty hair. Okay. And her name was Jaya. So what was she? She was a rag picker. Rag picker means the person who picks garbages, uh, who picks uh, leftover from the garbages. Fine? Like bottles or uh, bags or polythene or whatever they feel useful to them. Okay? That means rag picker. Fine? So, Jaya was a rag picker. So, Jaya saw value. Okay? So, Jaya saw value and talk about him and then she went to him and she talked to him about him that means who was he where had he come from why had he run from home means she, she tried to know about him fine initially value was reluctant as she was a stranger to him so in the beginning initially means in the beginning so in the beginning value was very reluctant because she was a stranger to him value was feeling uncomfortable she was he was hesitant fine he was hesitating to talk to that girl because she was a stranger to him. Fine. Then later on, he talked to her. Fine. When he talked to her, uh, Jaya could understand that Velu was really hungry. Then Velu told, uh, then uh, Jaya told Velu that she could arrange for his food. Then Jaya told to Velu that if you come along with me, I can give you something to eat. I can arrange for your food. Clear? Value well, had no other no other option. Okay, but to follow her. So value well, had no option other than to follow her. So what does it mean? It means that value ke paas aur koi option nahi bacha tha. Isli value jaya ke saath chala gaya. Value well, went behind her. She took him to busy roads. Okay, then Velu, she went behind her. Oh, Velu, Jaya ke piche piche chala gaya. Then where did she lead him? She took him to busy roads. Then, then she took Velu to the busy road. That means there was a road, okay, and there was a lot of traffic. Okay, the traffic was coming and going, coming and going. Fine? So, uh, Velu was really frightened to see all those traffic because he had never seen such a huge traffic at Kanor. That means where he was staying in his village. Fine. So, Velu went behind her. She took him to busy road which, uh, with high traffic and dust. So, there were lot of dust and traffic was very high. Velu was frightened by the traffic. So, Velu was really frightened by the traffic because he doesn't know how to cross the road. Then later on, Jaya helped him cross the road. And they both of them, they crossed the road. When they crossed the road, then a central jail came near him. And then they passed by a central jail. Then Jaya warned him of police. Okay, then Jaya, what did she say? She warned him of the police. Because <coughs> police do not like rack pickers. Why did she warn him of the police? She warned him of police because police do not like rag pickers. Because police thinks that these rag pickers are not nice people. Okay, he thinks that rag pick pickers are uh, stupid people because they used to steal away the purses and handbags of the people. Fine, and this is the reason why police do not like rag pickers. Moreover, rag pickers are always dirty. So, police hate to see them. Clear? So, Jaya warned Velu of the police because police do not like rag pickers. Then they crossed the central jail. Then finally, they reached a marriage hall. Then where did they reach? They reached a marriage hall. There was a big garbage pile. 
and there was a big garbage pile. Garbage pile means dhiri. Okay, of garbage. Gandagi ka dhiri. Fine. So, what does it mean? It means that the people, they had all the meals and all, okay, in the marriage. And then, they threw it away, the leftover food. Fine. So, that leftover food was cropped into a huge garbage pile. Is it clear? Next. Jaya found two bananas and a vada. So, what did Jaya find? Jaya found two bananas and a vada. She gave a banana and a vada to Velu. Then she knew that Velu was really hungry. So, she gave one banana and a vada to Velu. Velu was reluctant to eat leftover food thrown in the bin. So, Velu was really hesitant to eat the leftover food thrown in the bin. That means Jaya, she took the leftover food, bacha hua khana, from the bin. Bin means garbage, dustbin. Okay? Jaya ne wo dustbin te bache kuche khana utha ke velu ko diya. Jo ki ek banana or vada tha. Fine? So, but he was hungry and there was no other option. So, it means that Velu was forced to eat. He was bound to eat because he had no other option but to eat it as he was really very, very hungry. Clear? Because he said to Jaya, I do not eat leftover food. Jaya said, no problem. If you do not eat leftover food, then it's better you stay hungry. I'm going to eat whatever I get. So, whatever vada she was having, one piece of vada, she ate. After seeing that she is eating all with her heart, even Velu had no option but to eat it straight away. Fine? And then he ate those banana and vada and he felt quite better. Is it clear to you all? Okay. So this is the first part of the chapter. So I am going to end up here. Okay? And the remaining part I will teach you in the next video. Thank you for watching.